listing the five worst bachelors of all time. Okay, Bachelor Nation, let's be real. There have been some amazing husband material bachelors throughout the 23 seasons, but that being said, there have also been guys that turned out to be total trash. So, in honor of that reality trash that keeps us coming back for more, today I'm going to be breaking down the five worst bachelors in Bachelor history. Kicking off the list, we have Jake Pavelka. Jake seemed like your average nice guy at the start of his season, but things slowly took a turn for the worse as it progressed. For starters, he ended up giving his final rose to the season's villain, Vienna Girardi, which never happened. But the drama really went down after the show finished when Jake and Vienna called off their engagement in June of 2010. From there, a bunch of accusations were tossed back and forth in tabloids, including Vienna accusing Jake of emotional abuse and Jake accusing Vienna of having an affair. Then when they met up for an interview post breakup, things really went downhill and ended with Vienna running off in tears after Jake yelled at her for interrupting. Please stop interrupting me. <laughs> the thing is, good I'm lord. I'm done with this. You are the meanest person I've ever met in my life. <laughs> Oof. In 2014, we were blessed with the disaster that was Juan Pablo, who had issues pretty much from the get-go when he made some seemingly homophobic comments in an interview early into his season. TV Page asked if he'd like to see an openly gay or bisexual bachelor at some point, and Juan Pablo responded saying, quote, I don't think it is a good example for kids to watch that on TV. Though Juan Pablo did reassure everyone after the fact that this statement was taken out of context, who really knows for sure. Then the problems continued on his season with how he treated the women. At one point, he seemingly hooked up with Claire Crowley in the ocean, which he later called a little weird and insinuated Claire was the one who initiated it, even though it looked pretty consensual. Juan Pablo also didn't propose at the end of his season and couldn't even say I love you to his final pick, Nikki. But how do you feel about her? <laughs> uh, Chris, I feel great, like I said. And, uh, hi Chris. So, uh, I'm very honest to her and I keep things to ourselves, and I show her how I feel about her, and she's happy with that. And, um, you know, we're, we're starting our life now together. So you love her? I'm not gonna answer that question to you. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> but moving on to Ari Leyendijk, who really switched things up when he proposed to his winner, Becca Kufrin, with a lovely speech, including the line, my love for you is unmeasurable. I choose you today, but I choose you every day from here on out. Oh, Ari, if only that were true. A few weeks after getting engaged to Becca, Ari changed his mind, realized he actually wanted to be with his runner-up, Lauren Burnham, called Lauren to see if she'd still have him before dumping Becca on television in a super uncomfortable, uncut finale special. Do you want to be back with her? I want to see if there's that possibility. Are you kidding me? If only he was kidding. On the bright side, him and Lauren are married now with a baby, so I guess it worked out. Next up, we have Brad Womack, who, for the first time in Bachelor history, picked absolutely no one at the end. Luckily for him, after pissing America off with that one, he got a second chance at being The Bachelor, where he did end up picking a lovely girl by the name of Emily Maynard. However, their love didn't last and it didn't even last long. In fact, later on, Emily actually wrote about their breakup in a tell-all book and said that he actually broke up with her before the season had even ended by CCing her in on an email that said, quote, sorry, but things didn't work out with Emily and I. It wasn't the fairy tale I thought it would be. Oh, Brad. And lastly, we have Nick Viall, who is actually just on our list because of how many damn times he's tried to find love on the show. First, he was on Andy Dorfman's season of The Bachelorette, then Caitlin Bristow's, then he went to Paradise, and then, finally, he got his own season of The Bachelor, where he did end up picking a woman named Vanessa Grimaldi. Unfortunately, after the show ended, their relationship did too. Well, you guys, that just about wraps up our list, but before I go, I wanna hear from you. If you had to pick the five worst Bachelors of all time, who would they be? List them down in the comments comments below, then click right over here for a new video, and of course, be sure to subscribe to our channel. As always, I'm your host, Renee Ariel. You can follow me on socials at Renee Ariel, and I'll see you guys next time.